Hi everybody, just a brief video today to look at a tool that's going to help us position ourselves within our Civil 3D model using something as simple as a property address. So for example, I've got a project that I'm going to start doing some work on. I know the projection or the coordinate system that I'd like to work. Uh, so I'd like to take advantage of some of the aerial imagery that's available to me directly within Civil 3D. But I need to position myself at that particular location of the address such that I can see exactly what it is I'm going to be working on. So we can do that in Civil 3D, and let me show you how we'll go about doing that. I've started by creating just a vanilla drawing, and I need to do two things first. First thing is to set the projection that I'm going to work in. So we'll go to the tool space. I'm going to go to Edit Drawing Settings, and we'll go to uh, Units and Zone, and in this particular case I'm going to be working in... Uh, Illinois. So we'll come down to U.S. Illinois. This is uh, State Plain NAD 83 East Zone U.S. Foot. So we'll say OK. So I've set the coordinate system. Now the location that I would like to go to, let me bring up my uh, internet browser here. Uh, we're going to be finding uh, the project we're going to do some work on is a, a local amusement park. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to grab the address off of that. So we'll just, uh, I've got it highlighted already. I'm going to right click. We'll copy that to my clipboard. And then I've got a, a little notepad file here we're going to use so I don't have to write stuff down. We'll just take and paste the address in there so we're ready to go. That's the location I would like to go to. So... Uh, let's do this. I need one one other thing that I need to set is the values that I'm going to punch in to uh, identify that location are in latitude and longitude. And they're formatted in a particular way, just straight decimal, which is not the default that I have currently set in this vanilla uh, Civil 3D template. So we're going to go back into settings here. And I need to make the adjustment to that. So I'm going to go to ambient settings. We'll come down to latitude and longitude. And by default, it's set up to be degrees, minutes, seconds, spaced as far as entry. I'm going to click on the down arrow and I'm going to set it to decimal because that's the information I'm going to have so that when I enter it, it's going to accept it and go to the right location. So we'll say OK. All right. With that, the command that I'm going to type in is geographic. And if we start to type it in, there's a command that automatically auto-populates as geographic location. Uh, it's, I'm going to hit enter. It's going to ask me to set location for map or file. So I'm going to go ahead and set map. And I'm going to get an environment that's very similar to like a, a Google Earth or a Bing type of an approach for aerial imagery. So we're going to come up here to the top and we're going to put in our address. So let me come back to my notepad here. We'll copy our address. We'll paste that into the dialog box here. We'll paste and we'll hit enter. And it immediately takes us to that location. We see it appear. I can zoom up here. Actually, the address that it's giving me is closer to the corner. But uh, the area that we're going to be working on is actually in the amusement park here. Uh, for our project, we're going to be doing some surveying or collecting some infrastructure, whatever the case may be. So let's do this. I'm going to click the button to drop a marker. And when I do that, it's going to update the latitude and longitude at the bottom of the screen here. You'll notice that if I reposition this marker... I'm going to drop it over the uh, center of the ice arena. When I drop that, it automatically updates it. So those numbers update as I move that pin. So I can adjust myself to any location that I would like. That works. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these values by highlighting them. Copy. And we're going to put those into our notepad. So we'll put in the latitude. I'll hit enter. And then I'm going to do the longitude. So we'll grab, oops, make sure I get the negative sign. We'll copy, come back to my notepad. We'll paste in the longitude. All right. From there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel. All right, because this tool is set up if I don't have a projection already. In Civil 3D, we already have one. So it's, it's an AutoCAD-based tool. We're not going to go through and do any more with it other than use it to locate the position that we need, identify those coordinates, hang on to those for right now, and then we'll cancel out of the tool. From there, what we're going to do, I'm going to make my command line area a little bit bigger by dragging it over. We're just going to go to the command Zoom. So we'll hit Z for Zoom. The option that we're going to select is Center, Zoom Center. 
specify point. Now the coordinates that we have are in latitude and longitude. So I'm going to put an apostrophe LL. It's a civil 3D shortcut for a latitude longitude entry. We'll hit enter. It automatically now is looking for latitudes and longitudes formatted in a decimal format. That's what we adjusted the setting for when we started because the format that we have isn't in uh, space to degrees, minutes, seconds. So first thing it's looking for is latitude. We'll come up and grab that value. I'm going to uh, copy that to my clipboard and then we'll paste the value at the command line. We'll hit enter. Then it's going to ask me for the longitude. We'll grab that value, copy it to the clipboard, paste it as well. We'll hit enter. I don't have any other latitude, longitude information to put in, so we'll hit escape. The next thing it's going to ask me for is my zoom magnification. I'll set that to, uh, we'll set it to 1,000. We'll hit enter. It's regenerated my model, and what I'm going to do now is if I turn on my aerial imagery, what I should see when it comes up is I'll be looking right at the top of the, uh, the ice arena, and I have now successfully positioned myself within Civil 3D using a property address. All right, so any, any location we'd like to find, we just go back to the geographic location, type in the address. Once we get the address, we capture the latitude and longitude, do a zoom center on those coordinates, and we can now very easily locate ourselves anywhere within our model using something as simple as a property address. So hope, uh, hope this helps, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. See ya.